here we're going to understand why when we push a roller it is more difficult than pulling a roller that's our real life experience and we will analyze the various forces that come into play because of which pulling is found to be easier as compared to pushing a wheel so let's say we have a wheel over here as shown over here and let's say its mass is m therefore the downward force that will come into play is mg so this is mg acting in the downward direction and let's say this roller is being moved in the clockwise direction and for that we are applying a push force on the axle of the wheel so let's say this is the push force which is being applied on the axle of the wheel now this force f which is a push force can be resolved into two components one is a vertical component downward and a horizontal component a horizontal component will act like this and if you take this angle as theta that is this pull there is this push force which is being applied is it angle theta with the horizontal then the vertical components becomes f sine theta and the horizontal components becomes f cos theta so if you look at these two components f cos theta it's acting in the direction of motion of the wheel therefore it helps the wheel to go forward whereas f sin theta is acting in the downward direction so it increases the normal reaction so mg is acting in the downward direction f sin theta is also acting in the downward direction and these two forces give rise to the normal reaction r so mg and f sin theta are the normal reaction acting at this interface between the wheel and the road which has a direct impact on the frictional force because we know that frictional force is given by the coefficient of friction mu into normal reaction and in this case mu into normal reaction will be mg plus f sin theta because both of them are acting in the downward direction so this is the magnitude of the frictional force which will come into play at this interface let's do a similar exercise with the pulling force so let's say the same wheel and it has the same mass so i can show mg acting in the downward direction so this is mg acting in the downward direction and we are pulling this wheel to in the same clockwise direction so the pulling force is being applied at the axle at the same angle theta and this can be broken up into two components that is the two components of this will be the horizontal component and the vertical component so if i take this angle to be theta this will be f sin theta and this is f cos theta again f cos theta is responsible for taking the wheel in the forward direction f sin theta as we can see is acting in the upward direction so the normal reaction over here will be mg will comprise of mg minus f sin theta because f sin theta is acting in the upward direction so if i use f is equal to mu r again over here i'll get mu into mg minus f sin theta and thus we can very clearly say that the frictional force when we pull is lesser because you have mg minus f sin theta whereas here you have mg plus f sin theta and since the frictional force when we pull the roller is less it's easier to pull a roller than push another simple way of understanding it is when you're pulling it we are actually applying a force in the forward direction and upward direction so that means we are lifting this wheel from the road and thereby it is able to move easily along the road whereas in this case we are applying a force in the horizontal direction that means we are taking the wheel forward the other force is pushing the wheel down into the road and therefore we find it more difficult to move the wheel along the road thank you